Hi, good night. Can you hear me? Good night. Hello, hello. Good night, Raul. How are you today? I'm fine. How was the vacation? Good? Yeah, yes, I'm so, only so. sleeping. <laughs> oh. <laughs> only sleeping through the quarantine. Yeah. I know, right? Very awful. But at least you rest. You you rested. You slept a lot. <laughs> That's good. Let me see here. Who is online right now? Hello, Edwin. Hello, Corina. Hello, Veronica. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello. Hello. Fine. <laughs> How about you, Carolina? <laughs> It was good. It was good. Hello, Smith. Nice to see you guys again. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Nice to see you too. You're welcome. Is it raining where you are? Like, is it raining? No, not yet. No. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet. Yeah. Just in the afternoon. Okay, good. So, I think we're going to start right with the class because you know we need to see if we remember things about last class. Right. What do you remember from the first week of classes? What, what were the things that we did? Do you remember? A little bit. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> A little bit, so so okay. <laughs> uh, the abilities that we have. The abilities that you have. Okay. Abilities mm -hmm. for what, Edwin? Uh, for different uh, type of jobs. Okay, for different I mean, type of jobs. Uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. good. And uh, and another ability is the the that you that everyone can do other abilities that everyone can do okay very good very good now we the last you know the last day of classes you were supposed to write a small paragraph about your abilities okay and some of you wrote that paragraph on the you know on on the on the forum on the discussion do you have your paragraph available No? Corina? Yes, Raul? Uh, the paragraph. Mm -hmm. A very small paragraph about you. Mm, no. A saber de qué hablar. <laughs> <laughs> I know you guys. Uh -huh. Okay. This is like the last paragraph about your work experience, personal information. No? Oh. Uh huh. Okay. Well, let's see. I'm gonna pick one of you. Let me let me let me show you here because this was the last the last thing that we did. Can you see my computer? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Look yeah. at this. Yeah. This is the last thing that we did. Write a seven-line paragraph about your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and other jobs using time and expressions, right? So you were supposed to, to complete this, right? Um, let's see, who finished this activity? No, nobody? Are you sure? Because I saw some of you on the, on the, on the forum. I did, but actually I, I don't remember so well what I put. <laughs> Okay, no, there's no, there's no problem. We can actually do that. Let me see. I was working on your classes from last week. From next week, 
and it for okay well we're gonna do that we're going to do that later we're gonna start here as you can see i'm still sharing my computer right okay we're going to start here with unit two unit two is about a staff and a schedule so it means that we're going to work with simple present we're going to work with present progressive right we're also going to work with a lot of activities that you do every day right so we're going to practice a lot so you need to remember what you do every day each of the activities that you plan now we have unit two staff and schedules we have competences uh can you can you help me out to read the competences sulma <coughs> Competences one and two. Okay. Ask and tell about a schedule activity of a regular day. Of a regular day? In the workplace. In the workplace. Very good. What about number two? Two. Ask, ask and tell information relate, related to marketing strategy strategies strategies very nice strategies. okay alan let's go with three four and five alan uh, alan <laughs> sorry uh -huh. uh, talk about uh -huh. schedule activities at my workplace very good real collective schedules showing basic and common tasks in a restaurant very good and number five describe uh colleges routine at the workplace very good so these are the, the like the five things the main important things that we're going to do through the whole week right that's that's our job that's those are the like the objectives for this week for unit number two now we're going to start with the first thing here. Look at the computer here, right? Well, this is video conference number six. How to use simple present for schedule activities, right? So we're going to do simple present activities. Look at what the, the, the little girl is doing. This is, she reads book daily, right? That's what she does every day. It's very important. So here we have a very small activity that we're going to do. I need you to pay attention to this. Look at here, it says positive and negative things about me and my classmates. Now we have, I have 11 people. So we're gonna do five things, right? Two groups with five people in each. It says here, a student A, uh, Edwin, you're going to be student A. Raul, a student B. And Sandra Corina, a student C. Let's see. Good. Mm -hmm. uh. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Can you see my computer? Can you yes. see my screen? Okay. So, Raul, yes. your letter A. Just read. Read the example. Read the example. Letter A. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like eggs. I don't like eggs. Okay, continue there, Edwin. Uh, she, she doesn't like eggs, and I live in Spain. Okay, very good, Corina. Let us see. Corina, are you there? No? Read, teacher. Read. Yes, let her see. Okay, she she does she does not like she doesn't like eggs. He lives he lives in Spain and I don't have a skateboard. A skateboard, okay, skateboard. very good. So what are we doing here? If you see we are adding more information. So what would be the job of letter letter D, a student D? I'm going to be a student D, so I will say, she doesn't like X, he lives in Spain, right? He does, she, Corina doesn't have a skateboard, 
and I don't like pupusas, for example. Oh. Mm. It's not true, of course. <laughs> but if you see, um, we're giving positive and negative information about us, right? What are the first one is, I don't like eggs. Right? The ne next one, Edwin lives in Spain, right? Corina doesn't have a skateboard. Sylvia doesn't like pupusas, but we add more information, right? Okay, very good. Do we understand what we're doing? So you put here first, look at this. Here first, one thing, right? Here we have one plus another thing. We have one sentence plus another sentence plus another sentence. So we have three sentences. And the student D will have one, two, three, and another sentence, right? Is that clear? Yes. Okay, very good. Now we're going to do positive and negative statements, very easy, very easy examples. And we're going to do this in groups of five, right? Two groups, right? So let's start working here. Okay, I'm gonna make the groups right now, are you ready? Yes, welcome yes. to classes. <laughs> yes. Welcome, welcome, welcome. <laughs> okay, let's <just> start. <laughs> let's go to the groups. We're gonna have two groups right now. Okay. okay, let's go, let's go. Let's go, okay, very good. Okay. Hello, teacher. Questions? No. Any? No, teacher, but you tell tell us who starts. Who's the first? <laughs> you start, Melvin. Ah, no. <laughs> good, Melvin. Good. <laughs> <laughs> no, teacher, the first one is the, is the, the easiest. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Esther, you start and Melvin is going to be the last one. Edwin is, Osmin is going to explain to you. Okay. Yes. <laughs> give, a, give an example. Uh, for three options, uh, one option is Positive. one person. Mm -hmm. uh, one option. One one uh, one example is a first person, mm -hmm. and other okay. example is two. Let Let's try. I'm gonna be the first one. Okay, I'm gonna okay. be the first one. I would say my is, um, I don't like, uh, mine is going to be negative. It's going to be, I don't like comedy movies. Okay. Continue, Juan Francisco. Negative. That was mine. You can choose, it can be positive or negative. That depends on you. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Can I continue? And she doesn't like the comedic movies. And I live in, in El Salvador. Very good. Now continue. You decide, Juan Francisco, who is next? Who is next? Uh, Sandra. Sandra. Yes. Uh, what? I'm... I, I, I like L. I know, but you need to say mine, then Juan Francisco, and then yours. Oh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh -huh, you need to pay attention. Okay. Right? Okay, I'm going to, to say it again. I don't like comedy movies, Juan Francisco. Again. Sorry? 
Ah, okay. ah, you see, you're not paying attention today. <laughs> I don't like comedy movies. Juan Francisco, you go next. She doesn't. She doesn't like uh, comedy movies, and I living in, in Salvador. Okay, very good. Sandra mm. Corina. Mm -hmm. I I I like. Uh, no, you need no. to say Silvia doesn't like comedy movies. Juan Francisco lives in El Salvador, and I. You give your information. Right. You need to repeat everyone's information. Information. Okay. That's why Melvin is the last one. Okay. <laughs> okay. Do you understand us now? Yes. Yes. Thank you, okay. teacher. Okay. So, Corina, please pay attention to your classmates. Okay. Okay. Very okay. good. I'll be back to you guys. I will go to group number two. Bye bye. Okay. Bye bye. Right. She doesn't like big steak, but uh, he likes chicken. And he likes uh, washer. I'm sorry, guys, but actually, I, I didn't hear you because I was doing other other things. Uh, what was the? Yeah. She live, uh, Sulma Sulma lives in San Salvador. Okay. Okay. Sulma lives in San Salvador. Salvador. And I I like. Um, and Raúl. Play soccer. Uh, what Raul is he, what, Ra, what Raul likes? He, he doesn't, doesn't like, like doesn't like meat. Uh, she doesn't. He he doesn't meat. like milk. Meat, 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 like meat. Meat, uh, meat. Mm -hmm. He's and vegan. You, he okay. and you, Edwin. He you doesn't like. You don't like play soccer. Soccer. He like. I, he like. I like play soccer. soccer. He like I, play soccer. He likes play. I like play soccer. Uh, okay. okay, very good. Okay. So you finish? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So Edwin is going to be the last one. Yes. Okay. So pay attention, Edwin. Right, because you will be yeah. the one participating with the other group, okay? Okay? Okay. Okay, good. So let, let's go to, let's go and work with the okay. others. Let's, let's go. Okay. Let's go, let's go. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Okay, very good. It's loud and clear. Loud and clear, very nice. Mm -hmm. I know I'm very loud. <laughs> I don't know why, but yes, I'm very loud. <laughs> now, I don't think so you, 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 you are, uh, your voice is nice. I um, like your voice. <laughs> thank you. I wish I could say the same about my voice. You know, when you listen to the WhatsApp <laughs> audience and you're like, is that me? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I, I was actually working with the two groups and we're going to have the last people that actually practice. In this case, it's going to be Melvin and Edwin. So Melvin, let's start. Your, mic your microphone is off. Sorry, sorry. Uh, <laughs> Silvia doesn't like comedy movies. And Juan Francisco lives in El Salvador. Sandra Corina likes swimming. Esther likes eat sushi. Sandra Veronica loves dance. Um, I forgot my... Osmin uh, oh, like likes eat pizza and I have two dogs. And you have two dogs? Mm. Dogs, yeah. Okay, very good, very good. Give him an applause, very nice. Hey. Now let's listen to Edwin. Oh my. Uh. <clears throat> uh. 
I have I have some problems now. Wait, please. Wait, okay. Please, please. Teacher, oh, I could there you go. Yes. Me. Yes, Maria. Okay. Okay. Ha, Alan, he likes chicken. Zulma lives in San Salvador. Raúl, he doesn't like meat. Mm -hmm. Edwin, he play. It's okay, say Edwin, he play. Edwin plays. Ah, Edwin like play soccer, and I don't don't like stick pig. Okay, you don't like what? A stick pig. Pig stickers. Carne de cerdo, viste de cerdo? Oh, pork. 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 Ah, pork. pork. Yes. Pork. Beef, like beef, pork. Beef, pork. You beef, don't like. Mm, beef is beef is the one from the cow. Ah, and okay. pork is the one from the for the pig. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I mean, both are delicious, and <laughs> for me, right? No, not for Maria, and not for Raúl. I will respect that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, very good. Give her an applause. Very good. Great job. Now, I want to explain two things, right, for us to pay attention. Every time that we say this, for example, he likes or she likes, right, with these two, right, what we're going to have next, can you see my computer? Yes? Yeah. Okay, very good. What we're going to have next here, when we say, he likes, she likes, right? The verb that is going to be there, for example, I heard that we say, um, uh, Edwin likes, right? And then we're going to say, playing, right? So the verb that goes here is not a verb, it's an activity, right? Because sometimes we say, he loves, he loves cook. No, we say he loves cooking. Right? He loves cooking. Uh, Sulma uh, or Sandra, she likes dancing, right? So we're going to use the verse that goes here, right? It must be with ing form. And it can be likes, right? Loves, right? Um, doesn't like. For example, we can say, Raul doesn't like eating meat. Maria doesn't like eating pork, for example. Right, so every time that you have verse like loves or like, the next thing that goes here, it goes with the ing form, this form. Right. Is that clear? Okay. Yes? Okay, very good. These are just for simple likes and dislikes, right? Comercial. Yes. Question, teacher. Yes, go ahead. I, I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Is presente simple? Yeah, but this, uh, the thing is that these uh, are, these are not but, verbs. Mm -hmm. But my question is, Mm -hmm. Is what is the same in presente continuo, presente perfecto, o, o el presente continuo perfecto? Son diferentes. Yes. Yes. This this what we have right now on the on the computer right now. This is simple present. El presente simple. El el verbo va a ir con ing. No, that's present progressive. That's es el progressivo. Yes, tomorrow and tomorrow and Wednesday we're going to see present progressive. Ahorita Today, presente simple. Yes, that's Ahorita. correct. Yes. But the thing el, is here... El, el verbo aquí lo está escribiendo en con ing. No, because... Viendo presente simple. No, this is, this is, these are not verbs. Activities. activities. These are activities. Right? These are activities. So the main pair of the sentence is this. Likes. So that likes, right? Do you remember with simple present? 
we use uh, the rule of S, right? He likes, she likes, I like, right? So this is the main verb, right? And, oops, sorry. <laughs> this is the activity, the one in the middle. This is the activity. That's why we need to pay attention because if we leave, for example, give me a second. For example, if we leave this uh, saying, uh, she likes play soccer. That is incorrect because we have two verbs here, play and likes. But this is not a verb. This is going to be an activity. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, that's why. So it is a little bit confusing, Juan, because it is true, it's confusing, but tomorrow we're going to practice present progressive too. We're going to combine okay. it, so no worries. Very good question. Very good. And present perfect and present perfect progressive, those are uh, more advanced topics. Right. I think we're going to see a simple pass in unit number three with the verb B and simple pass with regular and irregular verbs in unit four, but we cannot see present perfect yet. Okay? Okay, very good. So we have this right now. Do you have more questions? Thank you, Juan. That was a great question. Very good. Okay. More questions? More questions? No? no? Okay, let's continue because we need to work a lot. Now, look at this, these people here. What do you think their jobs are? We're going to do something that is very simple. I need you to, you know, take a screenshot with your computer right now. And it says here, what are their jobs? And the only simple thing that you're going to do is to put here, he is or she is. For example, if we take a look at the women on number two, what can we say about her? She is? She is police. She is a police. She is a police officer. woman. Oh, okay, police officer. I like that. Very good. More vocabulary. Very nice. Police officer. Right? Very good. So this is what we're going to do for all of them. We're going to put the information for each one of them, right, to say what they are. What is their jobs? What are their jobs? We have number one, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Please take a screenshot with your computer or your cell phone. Are you ready? Okay. Very good? Okay, very good. So now, if you took the screenshot, we are going to work right now in groups, very small groups. We're going to work in groups of two or three. Are we ready? Yes. I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you two minutes only, right? Two minutes to see where are the jobs. Let's start. Let's go. Let's go. Choose your group. Select your group. Very good. Maria, Osmin, Edwin, select your group. Okay. Did you finish? What? Did you finish? <laughs> no? no, we are most. Wait. <laughs> we are a little, a little. Mm. Okay, Some do you have a question? Uh, Questions? No? A uh, question. Yeah. What is the yeah. meaning of. <laughs> What's the meaning of what? Of the number, number four. <laughs> number four. <laughs> number four. <laughs> Smarter. Oh. Cells. 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 
A saleswoman. A saleswoman. Mm -hmm. okay. Very good. Yeah. Sales clerk. Okay. No. Number okay. number five is okay. baby city <laughs> or ama de casa. I don't know. You decide. <laughs> okay. Baby city. One minute. One minute. Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. Number four. She. Hello. Hello. Did you finish? No, I, we don't have a uh, captura. <gasps> really? Santo Padre. Okay. I'm gonna put <laughs> I'm gonna put it here on the computer again, okay? <laughs> Okay. Ready? Yes. Okay. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay, good? Thank you. <laughs> okay. Let's continue working. Okay. You have one minute. You lost two minutes. <laughs> Hello. Questions? Yes. Uh, yeah? What, what is the difference for a woman and a man? Number three uh, is a waitress. Mm -hmm. When we say waitress, is for women, for, for all the women, right? And if we say wait, waiter, is a man. Oh, waiter. Okay. Waiter and waitress. Yes, very good. Waiter. Yes, exactly. Waiter. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Very good number, job. Number number four. Is a dependent? Mm, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. I don't. How do you name, teacher the person who attends you when you go to buy something? It could be a sales clerk. Sorry. Sell, sales. Clerk. Sales clerk. Sales clerk. Clerk. C L E R K. Yes. Sales. Sales clerk. S A. Is spell again? Sell a. S E L L. No. S A L E S. Sales. And then um, Claire is C L E R K, sales clerk. Okay, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. I'm gonna give you one more minute, okay? So we can all finish. Very good. And the person number, what is their job? Hello, hello. Anna, your camera. Hello, hello. Okay, very good. Now, let's see what are the answers. I have my own answers, right? But I want to see your answers too, right? Like, what are going to be your answers for the activity, right? Now, let's see here. We're going to start with Osmi. Okay, and everyone is going to see the answers that we have, right? Osmin, what do you think is the answer for a number one? Osmin. Sorry, number one is a doctor. Is? Is a doctor. A doctor, okay. Let's put here. A doctor. He is? He is a doctor. Okay, good. Very good. What about number two? Uh, choose someone else. Uh, Osmin, choose another person. Um, Sandra Veronica. Sandra Veronica. Okay, she is a police officer. She is a police officer. Okay, very good. 
What about number three? Eh, Raúl Francisco. Raúl Francisco. Uh, number three, uh -huh. he is a waiter. Right? He is, he is a waiter. Very good. Uh -huh. Or a waiter. Both pronunciations waiter. are fine. Very good. Uh -huh. What about number four? Choose another person, Raúl. Uh, 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 Carla Gabriel. Carla, Gab Carla Gabriel just came. No, another person. Se acaba de unir, ok. <laughs> ah, sorry. Ah, María de Jesús. María de Jesús. <clears throat> Number four, she is a saleswoman. She is a saleswoman. Ok, very good. What about number five, people? María. Uh, Zulma Patricia. Person. Zulma Patricia. Uh, she is a babysitter. She is a babysitter. Okay. Very good. She's a babysitter. What about number six? Who's next, Sulva? Uh, Melvin. Melvin. Teacher, I don't know is he's an actor or is a director. I don't know. Okay, he is an actor. He is a director. Okay, we have two options. Very good. Okay, what about number seven? I don't know, Juan Francisco. Juan Francisco. Juan? Sorry, my microphone is. <laughs> Don't worry. Okay. I put that she is an actress. She is an actress, okay? She is an actress. Very good. And what about the last one? Another person? One? He's Who's a next? Lawyer. Right. He's a lawyer, okay? A lawyer. He's a lawyer. Oh, sorry. My dyslexic. Okay. He is a writer. Okay, very good. If you see, we can have different options, right? It's not only one option. What would be another option for number five, for example? Sulma said she is a babysitter. What's another option? She's a mom. A She's teacher, a teacher. teacher, okay, very good. She's a what? She's a mo mom. She's, She's a mom. mom, okay. That's an occupation, okay. She's a mom. Okay. What other option can be? She's a... Mm -hmm. She's, She's a, a teacher. What? She's a psychology. She's a psychologist, very good. Maria Jesus. She's a psychologist. And many more options, right? Many more options that we can that we can have. Okay, very good. Give an applause to all of you. Very mm -hmm. nice. We're going to use. I need you to. <laughs> I need you to use uh, to remember occupations, jobs, and occupations, because we're going to remember your jobs and your occupations. Hello, Fatima. Hello, Carla. Welcome to the class. Okay. Now. Hi. Hi. <laughs> now, good good evening. Good evening. Now we're going to see another question that I want you to discuss. We're going to talk a little bit, right? And this question says here, let's talk. Let's let's um, remember, right? We're going to go back to our jobs. Maria de Jesus, can you read these two questions? What? Is a regular day at your at your workplace like? And how busy are you? How busy are you? Busy okay. Are you? Very good. Very good. So for example, in my job, right? In my job, 
uh, a regular day at my job, I have two jobs, okay? So in my other job, I start my job at 6.30 a.m. every day, from Monday to Friday. Uh, and then I start um, giving solutions to people, right, uh, for their houses in the United States, right? And I'm always busy, right? And I'm always trying to help all my coworkers, right? We are not in the office, right? Because we are working from home, right? So, but we're always busy. I have my lunch at one, no, at 1 p.m. from 1 to 2.30 p.m. And then I have my break at 3.30 p.m. And then at four, I finish my job, right? That's one. So you need to say right now, right? What is your workplace like, like a regular day? Mm -hmm. You can say, for example, at 7 a.m., Raul can say at 7 a.m., I drink coffee in my office, for example, right? Mm -hmm. Or I always have lunch at 11 a.m., right? You know, you may have a different job, so you, you eat at 11 a.m., then you will say different activities that you do. What, are, what is one activity that you do in your job? Let's see here. Mm, maybe. One activity that you do in your job every day. Um, well, I start my job or my activities at 8 a.m. And I start with checking emails. Okay, so very good. I do. Okay, I, I, oh, very good. I start checking emails, that's perfect. I, I start my job at 8 a.m. and I always start checking emails, perfect. What, what about you? Uh, let's see here, uh, Carla Gabriel. One activity that you always do in your, in your, in your work. Uh, always uh, start, um, with a daily screw, mm -hmm. it's a, like a meetings with okay. the teams. Okay. Yes. And okay. then always I search uh, some reports about the issues. Okay, very good. You see, you mentioned three activities, Carla Gabriel. Very good. So that's what we're going to do right now. In your groups right now, I'm going to make groups. I need you to take a screenshot of, or copy, please, these two questions on your notebooks, on your book, right, whatever you have there, or take a screenshot, so, because we're going to discuss. Are you ready? Yes? Yes? Yes. 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 Okay, Raul, Osmin, are you ready? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, so now we're going to make groups. You want we're going to work in groups of three. Let me see. There we are. So we're going to work right now, right? We're going to share all the things that you do, sometimes you don't do many things, or there are something that you, for example, in my case, I have, I have a meeting once in a week. Imagine, not every day, just once in a week, right? But I always check emails, right? I sometimes, sometimes uh, talk to my boss, you know, with a video call right, like every day. So that's what you, I need you to do, to remember what are the activities that, that you do in your work, okay? So let's okay. start. Let's see, let's go, let's go. Let's go to the groups. Let's go to the groups. Let's go, come on, Sulma, Maria, Edwin, Fatima, Edwin, let's go. Fatima, 
Valdimita. From 5 p.m. I check in the morning, I check my email, I check the video class. Um, I have a meeting. I planning different activities for my job. Okay, very good. You have the teletrabajo. <laughs> Sylvia, how do you say teletrabajo? <laughs> you say uh, home office, right? That's home one option. Home yeah. office. Home office, right? Okay. Or you can say I work from home. Okay, very good. I work good. from home. Two home options. Work. Okay. Eh, Maria Jesus, can you repeat? Uh, is you miss? O cómo fue que dijo que? I have a meeting. Uh -huh. I have a meeting, and okay. I planning different activities for my job. For my job, it's okay. Say for my job. For my work. Uh -huh. For my work. Uh -huh, for my work, very good. Me toca lo que van a hacer los maestros, por eso. Oh, really? That's nice. <laughs> Pobrecito. <laughs> no, I work from home. Oh. But it's very, very stressful to be in, the, in front of yes. the computer, right? Yes, yes. It's not the it's same. Very bad. It's very bad for the for the back. Okay, very good. <laughs> and you, Sandra Veronica? Okay, in my case, I start day of my work. Uh, usually, before the the pandemic, right? Uh huh. Usually starts at at 6 a.m. At, at 7 a.m. Sorry. Okay. I always start a uh, practice always at, 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 at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And always, always, always it's uh, the I, mm -hmm. the I usually do on my work. I, I direct a warm up, you know, and always okay. when we finish the practice, uh, we always, uh, I always direct uh, a stretch to relax, mm -hmm. to relax the, the muscles of the of the of the boys, and and it depends. Uh, sometimes if we have if we have game, the same day, mm -hmm. the same day we we make a shooting. <laughs> Oh, uh, you see the ocupado? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, on, um, on weekend, on days, Wednesday is very busy. 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 Okay. For um, rain accounting, the rendition of cuentas, mm -hmm. in, in the reunion de consejo. In mid meeting. In the meeting. In the meeting. On, on in Wednesday. The meeting. Wednesday. You can they the the eight and a four p.m. Eight to four a.m. to four p.m. Okay. On, okay. How all day. You? All day. How busy are you? Okay, okay. On, the on the board of directors meeting, Corina. Board of okay. directors, like you know, the okay. bosses. Okay. Okay. Continue. <laughs> How about you, Osmin? Um. How busy are you? 
I... I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> In my case, uh, I, I, I send the report. Uh, it is difficult because I write, I have to write a, something. You write the, 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 the report? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and this is all days? Or one day a All week. days uh, to my finish my routine. Ah, uh, every day you you make a, a report. Yeah. Okay. I always write the office reports. For example, right? Okay. okay. I think, I think yeah, I think this is the activities. You finish? Yes, yes, teacher. Let yes. me listen to you. Let's see. In I don't have information of Raul. You don't have okay, Raul, give him your information. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I before to work, I breakfast. I have to breakfast in my office uh -huh. before to work. Okay, so I have breakfast in my office before starting working. Before starting work. Mm -hmm, exactly. Okay. Okay, continue. What else? What else, Raul? Just one activity. What else do you do? Hello, Antonio. Please turn on your camera. What okay. else do you do, Raul? Uh, other, uh, I turn, turn on the computer. Okay. And in other activities, I... I see uh, the server, mm -hmm. the computer server, and, and it's working. Oh, okay. And you make sure that it's working. You make sure that it's working. And I make sure that it's working. Okay, very good. Very Antonio. Okay, so let's go ahead and share with the others. Y vamos a pasar lista también. Okay, let's go. Let's go to the other group with the other people and let's start working. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Let's Okay, so let's share right now like, like some information that you remember. Can you see my computer? Yes. yes. Okay, so let's talk. Yes. Right now, let's talk. Uh, who wants to start? Any volunteer? Mm -hmm. Volunteers? No. Okay, Fatima, he said, let's see. What is a regular day at your workplace like? How busy are you, Fatima? He said. Uh, I always busy. I comment okay. to my partners that I start my job at seven. Uh huh. I start my job at seven thirty a.m. But I arrive to the company six thirty. Approximately, mm -hmm. uh, I always take my lunch at 12 p.m. Mm -hmm. 
I check my emails. I check uh, to the other co-workers do. Okay. They stock, so inventory of the company. Uh, so it's busy, very busy. You are busy. Okay, very good. Right, very good, Fatima. So listen to what Fatima is giving. She's given what she does since the morning until the end of the day, right? In the morning, in the afternoon, and then when she goes home. Another person, Fatima, choose another person. Sandra Veronica. Sandra Veronica. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm start uh, at 8 a.m. And sometimes I start work at 7 a.m. Okay. Okay. I when I start my job, I check my email, uh, check my petty cash, and mm -hmm. yeah, how do you say estar pendiente a lo que dice el jefe? You pay attention to your boss. Okay. okay. I pay attention. I pay attention to to say my my boss. Okay. All, all the time. <laughs> oh. Because I Sandra, come in, Sandra, come in, Sandra, come in. Uh -huh. <laughs> aunties, aunties, aunties. And okay. uh -huh, my my work is very busy too. Okay. Uh, I have my lunch at twelve twelve como se dice, doce y media, twelve. 12.30? Uh, 12 12.30? 12? 12.30. Listen. 12.30. And 12.30 every day. And I uh, finish my, my work at 5 p.m. Okay. Very good. So we have here... Write the information for, right, for Veronica. Very good. And then this is the way we're going to share, right? One one of the boys, please. We have two girls, Fatima and Vera. I need one boy. Okay. Uh, Melvin. Melvin, okay. Um, I start at 8 a.m. Um, okay. The first activity, I check my emails. Okay. I take some calls from the customers. Okay. And I am really busy in the day because I always start in the chat with the customers too. Okay, you're always chatting. Yes, because the customers call, write, and chat it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, and this is me. Okay. Very yes. good. And I finish my my schedule, my routine at uh, five five p.m. Around five. At five p.m. Oh, around yes. five. Okay. Yes. Around five p.m. So, mm -hmm. so so right. Okay. Very good. Now, these are, these are sometimes the ways that we're going to talk about the schedule. How busy are you every day? What are the activities that you do? Remember to take notes or take a screenshot so you can remember later, okay? Now, let's continue. Let's continue here. Now that we're talking about activities that you do every day, right? Can you see my computer? Yes. yes? Okay, very good. So let's take a look at this. We have here someone, this is not Alan, this is another Alan. Right? It says complete the text about Alan, right? We have some words that we're going to, we're going to use. 
How do you call these words? Who remembers? What are these words? Right. Hmm? Uh, finish at home. Uh, this is, these no. are verbs, right? Oh, okay. These are these are verbs, right? Right. It says here, my name is Alan. I'm from England, but I live in Tokyo. So Tokyo, here. I live in Tokyo. I'm a journalist. I, and then we need to look for number two, for an English language magazine. So what would be the best option here? We have different verbs that we can use, right? We have finish. I work. I work I for, very good. I work, I work for, for an English language magazine English and, and, and then we I, continue, okay? Very good. So what are we going to do? I need you to right now take a screenshot of this of this exercise. What we're going to do is to complete the paragraph. Take the screenshot, please. Wait, wait. Okay. Yeah. Right. Please, right. please teach it. Okay? Yeah. Are we ready? No? No. Yeah. No, yeah. no, 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 no. no. no, no, no. no. <laughs> Let me know. Yeah. Almost? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, very good. Very good. So now we're going to work this. We're going to do this individually. But before we continue on the on the group, I need to take the attendance. No, me acuerdo. No, the Let me see here. Vamos a switch español un poquito. Vamos a pasar asistencia. Okay, I have Esther Maricela Orellana Maradiaga. I'm here. Very nice. Raúl Francisco Márquez Argueta. Present. Sandra Verónica Herrera Venegas. Present. Vanegas, perdón. Adalilia Hernández de Salmerón. Adalilia. Eh, Osmin Alexander Hernández Campos. Present. Elinton Antonio Fuentes Reyes. María de Jesús Cardona de Fuentes. María de Jesús. Oh. He left? No. Ah, está. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, Alan Javier Erdón. Present. José René Abrego. Ruano. No. Sergio Alexander Martínez Nieto. Miguel Orlando Morales Baños. Fátima Giselle Valladares Parada. Present. Mayra Noemí Cardosa. José Antonio Renderos Alfaro. Juan Francisco Ayala Montano. Present. Zulma Patricia Donis Colato. Present. Carla Gabriel Flores Pineda. Present. Eh, Edwin Alexander Ayala Erazo. Here. Sandra Corina Miranda Maya. Present. Melvin Alexander Serrano Mercado. Present. Okay. Very good. So, do we have the information here for the attendance for today. Después la revisamos, tal vez se nos incorpora alguien más. Now, let's continue working. We're going to complete the paragraph. Did you finish the paragraph? No? No. <laughs> ¿Qué no estaba haciendo? Okay. <laughs> no, 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 no yet. Hey. No yet. Hey. Come on, people. You rested for the, you know, for semana de agosto. Okay. Give me one moment. We're going to work in groups of two or three right now. And we're going to complete the paragraph. Okay. Everyone needs to participate. So let's start working. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, people.
Let's go, Edwin, Osmin, Antonio. Antonio. I'm going to move it. <laughs> Está okay. solito. I'm, yeah. I'm going to move it to another group porque se supone que Antonio tiene que estar con usted, pero no sé si está. O oh, está okay. o no está. Don't, don't worry. Ok, let me put you with. Oh, ok. I'm going to put you to work with Fatima and Osmi. One more. Work. Work. For an English language magazine, um, and I write. Yeah. About life. Write about life in. I. I work. I. I get up. Or I got. To work. And I about. Hi, yes, Alan. With Alan. <laughs> I get up early. Uh -huh. Yes. Number I four, right? Uh, number I get up early. To early at seven o'clock. Uh -huh. And get to work. No. And have a have breakfast. Have have a breakfast. Have breakfast. Yes. Yes. And, and get home at. Ah no 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 no. And. Espérame espérame. Have and leave home. Leave home at seven forty. Five. Um, no. Leave home. <laughs> yes, teachers. Teacher. I don't know. Smiley. <laughs> it's correct. Yes. I don't know. Um, <laughs> the next one. I I go to work by car. No. And get to work. I go to work. Get no, and get to work home at seven. No, leave leave home leave. at leave. seven forty five. Leave. Leave. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And I go to work by car. I go to work. Y no se siente el tiempo, teacher, las nueve y cuarto. No sé, ¿no? It's true. Yes. No alcanza. No. Teacher, pero es que mucho cuesta llenar esto. Ah, <laughs> that's the purpose. Imagínense que todo fuera fácil. <laughs> It was boring. <laughs> Los maestros debemos de facilitar el aprendizaje, teacher. <laughs> But you know this. Ya me <laughs> queriéndome dar... <laughs> Sorry, ya, ya está queriendo meterme mentira. Vamos a usar, ¿cómo se llama el circulito que usamos? En inglés lo usamos bastante. Ustedes ya saben, para ponerlo en la clase interesante, we use this thing that you know something, you know the verbs, but we always give you something more difficult. So you can do it. So you learn more. You practice more. Mm -hmm. That's, uh, I forgot. I think it's by Gosky. Vygotsky lo dijo. Usábamos la, la, el, el, el círculo donde teníamos un, algo que ustedes ya conocen. Por ejemplo, ya conocen el simple present. Y yo les doy algo un poco más difícil. No tan difícil, pero un poco más difícil que lo puede, que lo van a lograr hacer. Pero siempre es la labor del docente estar ahí para ayudarnos un poquito más. La zona, la zona de proximidad se llama. La zona de proximidad. La zona próxima. La zona próxima de aprendizaje. 
de aprendizaje. Ya ve que sí sabe, ajá. Así que no me digan <laughs> nada. <laughs> That's the one I use in English, so you can practice. <laughs> okay. Si no se me aburre. <laughs> I know, teacher. My car. I can, nos hemos quedado. I... Yeah, number eight. En number seven. Yeah. Go to. Have breakfast. Have, I have breakfast. Oh, I no, I was here. Okay. Hi, how are you? Hi. <laughs> Get to work. Eh, yo le puse. Well, go to work. Get home. I get home an hour later. Later. Mm -hmm. I home an hour later. Okay, llega a casa tarde. Get home. Um, What do you have? <laughs> We are lost. <laughs> no, you're not. You know the answers. Yeah. Every day. Uh -huh. I go to yeah. bed. Then. My office. I. Nah. I get na, finish. La, finish. I get to work. Uh, finish. Fi I finish. To finish. Uh, uh, I finish. finish. Mm -hmm. Work Nine. at. Mm -hmm. I finish. Um, o'clock and every day. Six o'clock. Mm -hmm. I don't know. You you are going to give me the answer. Go get home. Go to work. Right. Does it make sense what you're saying? Go to work. So, so? Remember the logic, right? What goes in the morning, in the afternoon, at the end of the day? No confunde la M y el PM. Aquí. <laughs> Pobre Alan, ya lo tienen confundido. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have one minute, okay? One more minute to finish. Very good. Thank you. Okay. You're welcome. We finish. You finish? Yes. Okay, let, let me listen to you. Let's see. What do you have? What is the paragraph? What are the answers? My name is Alan. I'm from England, but I live in Tokyo. I'm a journalist. And I work for an English language magazine. And I write about life in Japan. I get up early at seven o'clock, have breakfast, and leave home at 7.45. Okay. I go to work by car, and I get up an hour later. My home is very far from my office. I mm -hmm. finish work at five o'clock and get home every day at six o'clock. Okay. I go to bed late at 11 o'clock. What is number eight? Get to work. Get, to, get work. to work. Get to work. Okay, very good. Because you said get up. <laughs> <That's> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's get okay. Very good job. That those are the answers. Very good. Very good. So let's go. You are you and Sulma are going to read the answers. Okay, okay. and then we're going to continue. Okay. Okay. <laughs> very good. <laughs> let's go. Hello. 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 So we're going to start with Esther and Sulma. They are going to read uh, some of the answers that they have. 
right? And then we're going to continue with the others. Okay, just give me one moment here. Let's see. Okay, Sulma and Esther, you're going to read from the beginning until number three, until Japan. And then I'm going to choose someone else, okay? Let's just start. One, my name is Ala. I'm from England, but I live in Tokyo. I'm a journalist. I work for an English la language magazine, and I write about life in Japan. Okay, very good. Let's continue there with number four, five, and six. Let's see here. Uh, oops. Oh, Sulma, you didn't participate, Sulma. Okay. I get up early I, at seven o'clock, mm -hmm. have a breakfast, and leave at ho leave home at seven forty. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Let's continue there, Edwin. Number seven. Edwin? Okay. Um, I, number seven is right. Mm -hmm. I get to work by car and I leave an hour later far from my office. Okay, I leave an hour later. Okay, very good. My home is very far from my office. Number nine, let's see, um, Maria. I, I finish work at five o'clock and get home every day at six o'clock. I go to bed late at 11 o'clock. Okay, very good. Do you have the same answers, people? No? Yes. yes? Okay. What's a different answer that you have? Who said no? Who said no? Okay, what do you have, Melby? Number eight. Number eight. Okay. What happens to number eight? Tell me. I have. I get to work an hour later. Number eight. I get to work an hour later. Okay. Very good. Let's see my number no, seven. Uh -huh. Number seven and eight. Okay. Very good. Imagine right now. Look at the paragraph right now. It says. I get to work by car, right? So you get to work at, at uh, let's say here, you get to work at 7.45, right? according to the paragraph, let's read, I get to work by car at 7.45 a.m., right? And then it says, I leave an hour later. So you only work for how long? At 8.45 a.m., you are? home right you're going home so this doesn't make sense right so is it correct yes or no no right it's incorrect okay so what would be the answer in the seven i go to work by car i okay i go to work by car i go to work by car Okay, and what would be number eight? I get to work. I get to work an hour later. Okay, very good. Now it makes more sense, right? Okay, very good. Let's take a look at the answers here. Let me show you the answers. Remember that this is for you to 
pay attention to the activities, right? The activities that you're going to do. Give me one moment. Okay. Can you see it? Yes? Okay. The activities that we have, these are the answers. Number two is work. Number three is write. Number four, get up. Five is have breakfast. Number six is leave. Number seven, go to work. Number eight, get to work. Get to work. And number nine, finish. And number 10, get to home. You know, get home. Remember that what you do every day, it's like this. Right? You start your, your life in the morning right, from work. Right. You start, for example, uh, Maria. At, at, at what time do you start your your work every day, Maria? Maria. No, Sulma. At what time do you start your work every day? At eight o'clock. Eight o'clock. Yes, I am. Eight a.m. Okay, so when we talk about what you do every day, right, we're going to start with the morning. And then we have several activities that we do, right, 8 a.m. What do you do after you start work? Suma. Drink a coffee. <laughs> you drink a coffee, okay. <laughs> yeah. and, what, and what time do you drink a coffee? Uh, 7.30. 8.30. Okay, <laughs> so it will be 8.30, right? Yes. 10. Okay, 10 and 11. Me too, so don't worry. Me too. <laughs> Me too. So what do you do after that? Uh, I take the payment, uh, what uh, I need to do. Check payment, okay, very payment. good. At what time? 8 30 8 35 8 you see so we have a schedule that we need to follow until the end at what time do you finish five o'clock ah so this one okay let's suppose sometimes at 5 p.m yes. right so we need to follow a timeline right this is a timeline time line Timeline tells you periods of time that you do for each of the activities. So we need to be very careful because if we say, for example, you say, um, I go to work at, I go to work at 8 a.m. and then I get home at 7.30 a.m. It doesn't make sense, right? You say, ah, I get home until 5 p.m. Right? because that's the timeline that you follow right is that clear yes yes so so do you have a question um, mm -hmm. no okay let's continue let's continue with the next activity then let's continue now Sorry. We are going to practice a very simple conversation. This conversation is on your module practice. This is on your book, right? It's on page 19, exercise two, right? We have a conversation between Will and Orson, right? This is a conversation you see between two people, right? So we're going to practice right now between two people as well. This is on page 19. Do you have your book? Yes? Okay, yes. very good. So you don't need to take a screenshot. What you need to do is to look for a partner right now. We're going to look you for a partner, right? So we can work in groups of two. Right, so let's start right now. There will be a group of three, I think. So let's start. We are going to practice the conversation. One of you is going to be Will. And the other one 
It's going to be also. okay. Very good. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Hello, Gabriela, Gabriel, Osmin, Maria. Carla Gabriel, okay. Antonio, are you there? Melvin, hi. Just leave me alone. No, <laughs> you are with Antonio. <laughs> okay. But Antonio is not here. No sé si está o no está Antonio. So okay. I'm going to put you with another group, okay? Don't worry. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Give me a moment. Thank You're going to you. be working with, let's see. Oh, yes. With Corina. Let's go. Does does his brother take the other after him? Him, him, after him. After mm -hmm. him, yes. After yes, him. he does. Okay, or el, el, el contrario. Verse. Change. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's change. Corina. Let's change. Let's change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Melvin. Yes. Hi, Melvin. Hi. Hi. I'm back. <laughs> okay. Mm. Uh, Jessica take order during the morning shift. No, she doesn't. Jorge does. He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him yes he does trying again okay. number one okay um this kitchen looks great it does who is is in chair of cleaning uh, it does no. Jessica is she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. Repeat that. Repeat that, Gabriel. Uh, Jessica is she cleans the kitchen from Mondays and uh, to Wednesdays or Wednesdays. Hmm. Jessica is remember punctuation. The period says. Jessica is, you stop, right? Jessica okay. is, she cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesday, right? Okay. okay, very good. One more time. Jessica is, she cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. Very good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you see the difference, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So I, you need to complete exercise three on page 19, okay? It's on the chat. I put it there. Okay. okay. Exercise three on page 19, we have three questions based on the conversation. Okay. Who cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? Jessica. Jessica does. And what does Jorge do? She does a really good job. Indeed, but doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George, she doesn't. George does. He take order from 10, 10 o'clock a.m. to to two o'clock p.m. 
Uh -huh. uh, I, I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Okay. But okay. Put, put some emotion now. Let's see, Edwin, when you say indeed, indeed, indeed means, okay, that's correct. She does a really good job, indeed. indeed. It means that you uh -huh. agree, that you say, oh, yes, that's correct. Indeed, right? Okay. Right. Indeed. And, mm -hmm. indeed. and the pronunciation is doesn't. 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 But doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? Right. Very good. Now, complete exercise three. I put it on the chat. Okay. Exercise okay. three from the same page. You know, you have some questions there to complete. Very good. Okay. Number number one. Number number one. Who cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays? Uh, in this case, Jessica D. Jessica does. Mm -hmm. For her does, she take order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Let's make a small pause. You have you need to complete exercise three. See the chat, please. Okay. Very good. Okay. Very good. Who cleaning the kitchen from you finish? Okay. Did you finish exercise three? Look at the chat. No. Ah no. no. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I don't see only two. <laughs> okay, let's do number three. At the same time, okay. okay. Very Who good. cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? Is a Jessica. Is a Jessica. Jessica. Yes. What? Aspirina, no. También todo eso. Sí, ya me, ya me han escuchado ese volado. En In inglés. En In inglés. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice bicarbonato? Bicarbonated. No, it's... Ay, I forgot. There is a word for bicarbonato. Let me... Soda. Soda. Bake, baking Bake, soda. Baking soda. Baking, <laughs> bake, baking soda. Baking soda. Yeah. That's... That's... Bic that's only in English. Bicarbonate. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's baking soda. It's used I for the stomach ache. I feel a little sleepy. Me too. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe there. <laughs> Do you finish uh, the exercise on the chat? Yes. Ah, yes. The exercise. What? On the chat. Discuss? Look at the chat. Oh, wait. What chat? Hmm? Chat? No, there is no chat here. Yes, I sent you the chat. No. no, it says, let's we complete are... exercise three on page 19. No, wait, because we are on, on a room. We don't have the general chat. No. We, don't, no. we don't watch. Yes, you do. It says to no. everyone. No, I, I, I don't have. You don't have it? No. no. Let me no, send it again. Because we are in the chat room. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Uh-huh, you do have Let's it. Let's complete exercise three on page 19. Those are the questions. So. Uh, mm -hmm. Who clean the kitchen from Monday? Jessica, Jessica does. Jessica, uh -huh. Jessica does. What, what does, does George do? Does. George take the orders. The call. Okay. <laughs> you finish exercise three? Yes. Yeah. Yes? The, yes. The three questions? Look at Measure? the chat. Look at the chat. Mm. Well, no. No, no, <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Okay. Uh, uh, eight. No dice nada, teacher. No? No, solo home office. I work from home. Solo es solo. Let me send it right now. Look at Ah, okay. 
Paris. Let's do it. Let's do it right now. Okay. Right now. Yeah, tampoco. The... No. Uh, sí. Significa en, en efecto. Indeed. Uh huh. Indeed. 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 That's the meaning. Indeed. In efecto. In Are you see? Uh huh. In there. Did you finish okay. the three questions on exercise three? Did yes, you get finished. The okay, very good. Yeah. So let's go with the others. Let's practice the conversation, okay? You okay. will be first. You will be group number one. Okay, good. You're okay. volunteers right now. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Let's go. <laughs> Indeed. Hello everyone. Now we're going to have the first group. It's going to be Mr. Francisco Marquez, Raul, and Edwin Alexander Ayala. Okay. Let's just start Raul and, and Edwin. Yes. Listen to the pronunciation, okay. the others. Um, this kitchen. Okay. This kitchen looks great. It, it does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really good job. Indeed. Indeed. Uh, does Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to uh, till 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Very good. Very good. Now, let's see someone else. I heard Corina. Corina? Yeah. Who was your partner, Corina? Who was in your okay. group? Will. Okay. Me, Will. Okay, and who was who was working with Corina? Who was your classmate in the group, Corina? Who was in your group? Okay, Melvin. Uh huh. And Fatima. Melvin and Fatima. Okay. Fatima, Melvin, who's going to be Orson? Melvin wants. <laughs> 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 okay. Okay. So Corina, you are Will and Orson is going to be Melvin. Okay. Hey teacher. This kitchen looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleaning the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday. She does a really good job. Indeed, but does not Jessica say order during the morning check? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who does after him? Does his brother take the order after him? Yes, he does. Okay, very good, very good. Now, I want one more, one more group. Volunteers? No? Solo chicharra, say. Let me see. <laughs> Zulma, who was your partner, Zulma? Uh, Alan. Alan. Alan and Zulma, okay, very good. Hey, okay. Okay. Uh, Alan is with? Okay, I will be with. Uh, this kitchen lo looks great. It does. Who is in charge of cleaning it? Jessica is. She cleans the kitchen from Mondays to Wednesdays. She does a really jo good job. Indeed, but does, doesn't Jessica take orders during the morning shift? No, she doesn't. George does. He takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. I get it. And who's who does after him? 
does his brother take the orders after him? Yes, he does. Very good, very good. Now, this is for everyone, right? Remember, when we have this type of punctuation, right? right. For example, yeah. right? right? We need to we need to pay attention to the pronunciation and the intonation, right? This kitchen looks great. Right? You you say it like because if you say this kitchen looks great. <laughs> ah. mm, so you say great is really good right it looks perfect say oh maria this kitchen looks great right because you see and everything is clean everything is perfect in her kitchen right or you ask when you ask a question right you say it like a question who is in charge of cleaning it right? who is your teacher who is Sulma, for example? Ah, Sulma is my classmate, right? So you give an answer. But you need to make sure that you emphasize, right, when you have questions or when you are, have like exclamation, right? Oh, I get it. Oh, that's right, right? So you need to sound like English. Remember, we need to practice, right? That's very important, intonation and pronunciation, right? Okay, very good. Now, let's see here uh, the three questions. Question number one, Carla Gabriel. Number one. Mm -hmm. Who cleans the kitchen from Monday to Wednesdays? Mm -hmm. uh, Jessica does. Is that correct, everyone? Yes. Yes, yes. yes. okay, very yes. good. Yes. Number two. What does Jorge do? Francisco? He takes order from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Okay, he takes orders from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Is that correct, everyone? Yes. 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 yes? Okay, when does Jorge's brother take orders, Juan Francisco? Uh, after him. Say the other. Okay, after who? After After, him. after? Him. after Jorge. Okay, after him. But you say after Jorge. Okay, very good. Okay. After, after Jorge. Jorge. After. Okay. After him. Very good. So, what's another question that you can make with this conversation? You have three questions here. What can be another question? Based on the conversation. No sabemos. I don't know. I don't know why the answer to is there. Uh -huh. What's another question that we can we can make based on the conversation? We have three questions, right? Who cleans oh, the kitchen from Monday to Wednesday? Or you say, oh, Jessica, right? What does Jorge do? Oh, he takes orders, right? Oh. What other questions can we make, Alan? Um, what Jessica does. What Jessica does, okay. What does Jessica do? Look at the, the question for number two. Does Jessica do? So we put here, right? we just kitchen. copy and paste. Oh, what does Jessica do in the kitchen? Look at the, what Corina okay. said, right? Okay. That he wa she wants to be more specific in the, in the kitchen. Okay. And then we answer, right? What's another question? What oh, other question can we make? The kitchen. Okay. Is she... Is she doing a okay, give me question Jessica. number five. Jessica cleaning. Oh. Okay. Give me question number five. Alan and Corina said number four. Now you guys tell me number five. What's another example? Let's make questions. What? what? Cleaning. Another question. In the Maybe teacher, why 
Doesn't Jessica take orders? No. Okay, very good. Why? Why Jessica doesn't, doesn't. take orders? Okay. This question, it's perfect. Maria de Jesus. But tell me, what is the answer? Because she cleans the kitchen. Okay, very good. Because she cleans the kitchen. But in this case, right? Very good. That's perfect, Maria. What's another question? One more. One more. Number six. Let's make questions. We have the conversation, but it's not only, oh, let's read the conversation, whatever. No, let's make questions. Let's understand the conversation. Uh, we take order during the morning. Who takes orders during the morning? Perfect, Raul, perfect. Who, number six, who takes orders? During the morning. What is the answer to this question, Osmin? Who takes orders during the morning? Church Os does. Hmm? Sorry, my microphone is Church off. Does. My microphone is off. This is Tablan. <laughs> uh, <laughs> George? George does. George does. And what is a complete answer here? George takes orders during the morning. That's another answer, right? The complete answer. So I, what I need you to do, guys, is to see that we have, I'm sorry, that we have a, actually a conversation, right? We have a conversation here, but we can understand the conversation by making more questions, right? Not only the questions from the book, because we have only three questions or two questions. We can make more questions so we can understand more, okay? Very good. Do you have a question about the conversation? Questions? No? Are you sure? I'm sure. Yes. Yes, okay. Let's continue then, let's continue. Teacher, sorry. Yes, go ahead. Uh, I need to uh, saber. <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> I need to know uh, pronunciation in deal or in del. In deal. In deal. What's the in pronunciation, Edwin? Edwin knows the pronunciation. In deal. In deal. That's in the pronunciation. In effect. <laughs> exactly, very good. That's In the Spanish. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. Like you say, Indeed. Maria is very intelligent. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, right. very good. Thanks. Okay, very good. Now, take a look at this table here. Right? It says here, Paul is another British, British man who works in Tokyo. Right? Do you remember Alan? Right, from the conversation that we had before, this Alan, yes. right? Yes. So Alan works in Tokyo, right? He's a journalist, very good. Now we are working with, not only with Alan, but also with Paul, right? So Paul is another British Paul. man who works in Tokyo. You are going to listen to the interview with Alan and complete the table, right? So we have the information for Alan, do you remember? This is the part yes. okay. Now we are going to listen here. We It's 9.55, so we are going to try once, and then this, this, this exercise is going to be the forum, okay? So you mm -hmm. will have the audio on the forum so you can complete and answer ah, okay. that, okay? okay? Very good. Now, but right now I need you to listen carefully, so please take a screenshot so you can take notes. Yeah. Give me a moment. Good? Yes. Yes. 
Okay. Now, let me know if you can listen. No. So, tell me about your typical... Did you listen to no. that? No? Yes. No, yes. not yet. Uh -huh. Not yet. Okay. Yes. One more time. One more time. Solo escuchen, no vayan a responder nada. Solo escuchen. A ver qué, qué entendemos. Ok. So, tell me about your typical day. Did you listen to that? Yes. Yes. Ok, ok. Let's start. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at half past 9. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at 7 o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at half past eight. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at 10 o'clock. Okay, very good. Did you understand some information from the conversation? Yes. Yes? yes? Okay, very good. Yes. We are going to listen one more time, okay? Listen one more time. Now you take notes. Okay, now you take notes. So, tell me about your typical day. What time do you get up? I get up early, at 7 o'clock. What time do you leave home? After I take a shower and have breakfast, I leave home at 8 o'clock. How do you go to work? I go by train. My office is very far from my home. What time do you get to work? I get to work 90 minutes later, at half past nine. Do you enjoy your work? Yes, I do. I meet a lot of interesting people. What time do you finish? I finish work at seven o'clock. It's a long day. And what time do you get home? I get home at half past eight. What time do you go to bed? I don't go to bed late. I go to bed at ten o'clock. Okay, very good. Do you have some of the answers? So-so. Yeah. So-so? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So-so. Okay. Don't worry. Don't worry. Because this is not American English. This is British English. So it's a little bit more difficult. Okay? So don't worry. <laughs> it's, it's more difficult than usual. Right? It's more difficult. This is not gringo English. This is British English. So it's, it's a little bit more difficult. Okay. So, who remembers what's the answer for Paul? At what time does Paul get up? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock? Yeah. The same time? Okay, Seven very good. Okay. So, at what time does Paul leave home? Eight, eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. At eight o'clock. Very good. At eight o'clock. Uh, does he go to work by car? No. Train. 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 Go to work by train. By train. He goes to work by train. Why? Because your work is very far, very far for your home. Very good. Because it's very, very far. Very good. It's, it's like I, I, I live in San Salvador and my work is in... Santa Ana, right? Or San Miguel, okay. right? Very far away, okay. right? Very we need good. To use a train. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> okay. In the past, right? At what time does Paul get to work? Nine o'clock. At nine o'clock. Okay, very good. Let's see. We, we're not sure right now. Okay. In, at what time does he finish work? Seven o'clock or seven p.m. It's a long day, right? 
At what time does he get home? Eight thirty. Yes, very good. Half past eight is eight thirty. Very good. And at what time does he go to bed? Ten. 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 Very good. That's great. So give an applause to yourself. Very good. And you go to bed to 10 o'clock. <laughs> 10 o'clock. One minute. One minute. In one minute. Okay. So now, what? Close your eyes. Give me your hand. <laughs> what, what, uh, what are you going to do in, uh, in the forum? You are going to do, listen. <laughs> You're going to do in the forum a paragraph about Paul, okay? But very similar to the paragraph that we have for Alan. Okay. Very similar. It's not the same information, okay? Because Paul has different information, different schedule, different everything, right? So I'm going to put the audio one more time in the forum. So you're going to listen one more time or many times if you want to, and then you will write a very small paragraph with the information that you have. Is that clear? Yes. 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 Okay, very good. Very good, that's what we're going to do. Now it's 10 o'clock, <laughs> okay, it's 10 o'clock. Now, time to go to bed go for to you. Bed. Time to go for to you. bed. Not for me, hey. but do you have a question before no, you go? No, no, are you sure? No. Yes. Yeah. No? Okay. They huh? No, no. I, I thought. Okay, I very good. Answer. So, we're going to stop here. It's 10, 10 o'clock. I will see you guys tomorrow. Don't forget to go to the forum, right? And I will send, you know, uh, the scores on the WhatsApp message, maybe, or I'm going to put it on the on the discussion. Si quieren saber que no te tuvieran en el acumulado de la tarea 1, me pueden escribir o se las puedo eh, poner ahí en, no, en el WhatsApp, no estoy feo. No pude me, hacer me el ejercicio 2. Me escribe mañana, ahorita no. <ríe> okay. Ahorita okay. le vamos a escribir, dije. Ya lo voy a escribir, ya. <ríe> okay. Pude hacer el ejercicio 2. <ríe> Pero estaba bueno, yo lo hice tres veces y las tres veces No, me no pude, en serio. Le... Right, Corina? No. Yeah. No pudimos, no pudimos. No, ya vio, otro. A Edwin le salió bien, a Melvin. No, este. al final, al final, con lo que ustedes puso en el grupo de WhatsApp, ahí sí, ya sí salió. Ajá. Sí. Uh -huh. Copia, quería. Ah, okay. Me intenté y no pude. Copio. Ok, guys, a la chico. Ok, bye, teacher. Bye, bye. have a wonderful night. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah. See tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye. Tomorrow, too. Bye. 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 Bye.